pa lang before the start of the season. So, hindi ka pa talaga kami ganun ka gel Towards the middle, syempre yun. So, sin, sobra friends na kami. As in, even outside the court. Kaya, mas siguro gumaan yung aura sa loob ng court. Tsaka, mas naging madali na mag-communicate. As a team, we fell short. Kasi, the people were expecting us to enter the finals. But, yun nga, because of unforeseen circumstances, like uh, our work interfering with play, the school interfering with play. I think tun kami nagkulang eh, di kami naging buo hanggang dulo. Um, halos from the first six, uh, they went to different teams or won't play. So, ngayon, it's gonna be a challenge. Hopefully, this time around, uh, we, um, we learn from that and come back stronger. Patron! Back to the action here, as you heard from two of the Petron Spikers. And they're looking to have a better showing here in the second conference, but obviously not the kind of showing that they would have wanted in that first set. And let's just point out that this team lost Isa Maizo and Jelly Tabakero and Geta Tabakero are now playing for Cagayan. Also done are Michael Ortiz, Milica Inglet, and Roxanne Pimentel. So this is a retooled roster already for Coach Villette Ponce de Leon. But the mission stays the same. Head to the finals, win the title for the Petron Blaze Spikers. At sabi naman ni Carla Bello, importante talaga yung nagsasama-sama kayo na matagal. And then, you know, eventually, that chemistry that you talked about, eh darating din yun. There's no sure template for building team chemistry. Different attitudes, different individuals, different egos that you have to mesh and mix and make, work, make it work order for your team to be able to prosper and uh, build and generate more wins. Well, this is the start that Petron won. Here in set number two. We're up to nothing. Poor reception by Cagayan. It's three zip. Tanyama and Tanaka sat out the last few points of the first set. But they are back to start the second set for Coach Villette. Tahimik na tahimik kanina itong si Shinako Tanaka. Basang basa si Sang Muang. They go outside to Mercado. Mercado goes cross court and runs out of space. This is the match of Pang Mercado. Too much power in that cross court hit. Earlier on, you saw the attack points comparison between these two teams at the end of the first set. Both teams registering uh, seven attack points, respectively. Pero yung net points, I think, at yung floor defense. Itong si Jen Reyes had a lot to do about that first set success. Well, Anthony, ang best receiver natin dun sa ating first conference was Jen Reyes. Sabi nga natin, one of the best liberos in the country right now. Sandra De Los Santos naman ang uh, naging best scorer natin dun sa ating unang conference. Ang ating Philippine Superliga. Scoring that ace para dito sa kapunan ng Cagayan. Well, back-to-back -back mistakes by Goheen as the libero. At ngayon ay papalitan siya. Bigat din ng offense talaga nila Coach Ness Pamilar. Meron pa siyang Pao Soriano. Nag-silbing uh, best attacker dun sa ating unang conference. Free ball here for Cagayan. Oh, they were looking for the lead and right now, well, they do get it. That's oh. a check ball. Sabi natin, masyadong malakas yung palo. Walang tao dun sa back row pero bakit hinataw? May balak. Ang pumuntos para dito sa kumunan ng Cagayan. Now in the driver's seat. At 4-3. After giving up the first three points, but right now on that mistake, we are tied at four. Mercado taking care of the serve. Not the best of sets. They go to the other side. Will they set up Maizo again? No. Sang Muang. Pinapahirapan nyo pa sa atin ng April Rose. Ito isang dump para sa inyo. 
Lamang dito ang Cagayan. Wala pong mata sa likod ng ulo itong si April Jose. Pero grabe, gumalaw ang gray matter ng kanyang utak. Mabilis at very precise. San Juan, perfectly placed serve. And the liberos here of Petron are having a really poor day. Kanina pa sila, hirap na hirap. Ito na yung tie reinforcements ni Coach Nes Pamilar. Hayo pumalo pagdating sa kanilang service game. against the antenna. Ang maganda kay April Lucen, dami niyang pupuntahan. Let's check in now with Ricky Flores. Anthony, in the last level coach for that Tony Petron team, that Cagayan wasn't really making exceptional plays that needed exceptional defense. After assessing the first set, she wants them to adjust their defense, and she's also told her team to focus on service as they try to score off points from the Rising Sun service received. Anthony? Thanks, Ricky. Let's see if they are able to make those adjustments. Actually, it's a very good start, Coach. Doon sa ating second set, tapos nahabol yung kanilang lamang. But two attack errors will enable Petron to equalize at six all. Iba na rin yung pagdating sa technical timeout. Hawak mo yung kalamangan. At least, mas mataas ang level ng yung kumpiyansa. Look at that, Soriano, sky high. Best scorer doon sa ating first conference, getting the job done. Against a solitary blocker. That will not carry it out para dito kay Gretchen Ho. Yun ang kanilang expected one-two punch. Soriano and Maizo. As far as the locals are concerned. Will they go to Cotroang? Not yet. Jim Reyes again hustling for that ball. Great hustle by Patron on the other side as well. Tutubok talaga mga libero ng Petron. Kanina it was Michelle de Rosario, now it's going. But still, Cagayan will go into the technical timeout on top by 2 at 8-6.